You ready to make a watermelon peekaboo glass? Let me show you how. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know. And if you did, thank you so much for coming back. All right, so while my daughter was making her peekaboo little bowls, I was doing this. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch. Anyways, I start with a wine glass from Dollar Tree, wipe it down. Then I took a Sharpie and I'm just making a line to show, like just a reference line, nice and straight, so that I can tape it off. And I'm just using masking tape for this. And I'm just going all the way around and securing it at the end. I did wipe off that um, that Sharpie and it comes off with rubbing alcohol and that's all I'm doing here. All right, so next thing I do is take some, this is multi-surface paint and I'm just using a regular old um, paint brush and I'm doing dots all on the back of it. Okay, let it dry. Once that's fully dry, I take Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge and I do a layer of that all over that bottom. Don't go over the taped area, just the bottom. And then I'm using some um, Glitter Heart. The company is Glitter Heart that I get this glitter from and I'm gonna cover it with glitter. Notice I have this on a piece of parchment paper that I folded in half and have a nice strong line in the middle, like a fold in the middle. You'll see why in a minute. But I covered that fully, tap it off just to make sure we get all the excess off. Now before this dries, you wanna remove the tape. If you don't, it could pull up your glitter and you don't want that. So pull off the tape and then let it dry. Ta-da! Okay, so that has dried. And now we're going to just remove the excess glitter by just, you know, using a little brush or something. And then I'm doing another layer of dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I'm not super fussy about the edges, but it's easy enough to stay on that edge. See, I'm just using my brush, and this is a makeup brush, by the way, and I'm just going over the edges and covering all of that pink glitter that we just did, and then I'm going to reapply that glitter, and the reason why is because I want it to be really pink. So here, and I know some of you are like, pink, it should be red. Listen, if you want your watermelon to be red, do red. I like pink, so this is an excuse to use pink. <laughs> So then I let that dry fully. I make sure to get the glitter off of the edge and then we're going to cover it. Yup, you guessed it with more dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Do all of that. Do all the go right up to the edge. And then I'm using some green. The color again, same Glitter Heart Company. And the color I believe on that one is jalapeno. And we're going to cover the back of this. You do as many layers of glitter as you see fit. I did two layers of each. But if you wanted more, do more. You could see it already. Do you see the peekaboo already? I can't. It's so cute. I love it. So we do that. Make sure you tap off the excess. You're going to let it dry. Then once that's dry, you're going to do another... Well, Again, you want to make sure you brush off the excess. Then you're going to add some more of our Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge, more glitter, tap off the excess, let it dry. Then we're going to, again, brush off the excess just to make sure we don't have any loose. And then the last couple layers is Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. I only actually did one layer of Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge on the top of that one. And then you want to let it cure. If you want it to go in the dishwasher, it has to go for seven, 21 days. But I have found that you could do... Like once it's dry, I can hand wash them. And I never put them in the dishwasher, but that's just me. But are you kidding me? Look at, this is what it looks like. Can you imagine a whole set of them for a party or whatever? I love them. I love, my kids love them too. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you.